Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily cut in and what paintbrush to use when interior painting fast like a pro. I'll also show you some cut in tips and tricks and you won't need a fancy paintbrush either. And if you missed last week's video, I showed you how to roll out a wall fast and easy. I showed you some of my techniques to get a nice even finish like the pros do. And yes, I'm rolling out the wall first before I cut in, only on the first coat. Second coat, I will cut in first, then roll. I also showed you how to pour your paint out of a five gallon bucket into your cut pot without making a huge mess. Super simple. If you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing and painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Let's get into this video. Okay, so here's the walls after they were rolled in and like I said previously, I rolled these walls first before I started to do the cut in. After you watch this video, check out the description for links to all the previous videos in this interior painting video series. All right, so I'm gonna use the dab and tap method, three inch purdy, just a straight brush. So I dip it in and just tap it on the side. It leaves paint on the edge. D dab, tap. What you want to do is you just want to brush it out and keep a bead at the top of where you're brushing. And you're going to work that back in. Put a little paint in there. flat brush it so it just kind of flips. I'll leave links to other videos in the description below where I show you how to keep your brush clean and much much more. Okay I'm going to stroke this out and leave a bead at the top. Lamb skin Back roller cover. Now you want to just don't flip your brush Come right back the same, back the opposite direction, but keeping your brush the same and it fills perfectly. Let me know in the comments what kind of brush you use to cut in and why. Keep in mind that I'm lightly feathering out the cut in paint into where I had previously rolled on the first coat. Three inch purdy, straight brush, dab and tap method. Dab in the paint, you don't want to put too much on. Just tap it, keep a good amount of paint on the brush. Gonna leave the bead at the top. Gonna come back that di opposite direction, but not flipping the brush. I will be touching up the ceiling where the previous painter got the dark paint on it. I do this flat brush method at the end just so I can leave a good amount of paint at the cut in for better coverage. I've got my cut-in girl Dawn doing the first coat on the lower section of this wall. I left a couple of these plates on because of the wiring and stuff that's in them for speakers and a cable box, phone jacks. I usually just leave those on and cut in around them. I also keep a wet rag so I wipe them first before I cut in or roll and then wipe them again after I'm done. I've found in my 20 years of being a contractor and having people work for me that women are great painters, especially on the cut in. They're very meticulous and take their time and Dawn is no exception to that rule. Not only is Dawn a great painter, she's also an artist. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description below so you can go check out some of her awesome art. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, a contractor, painter, handyman. Just kind of curious. Dawn's basically doing what I did up on the upper section where I cut in the ceiling. She's leaving a bead of paint just above the baseboard where she can work it down in without puddling it up or just leaving too much paint 
works out perfectly. And then she's lightly feathering into the paint that I had just rolled on before we started cutting in. Like I said earlier, if you have a yellow paint you're painting with, it's very difficult to cover other colors, especially dark ones, because the yellow tint is very translucent. So sometimes it'll take two coats of a cut in, and then you might have to come back and just kind of touch up any little areas. We use a, a method we call um, dry brushing. So you barely have any paint on your brush and just kind of dry brush it in and feather it out so you don't see any brush strokes or anything like that. All right, there's Dawn working that bead down towards the baseboard again. And then she comes back and just smooths it all out and feathers it out into the existing. Gravity makes cutting in the baseboards a little easier than cutting in ceilings and you're not working on a ladder too. But Dawn is the master of cut in, whether it's a ceiling or wall. Let me know in the comments if you're a painter girl or even a DIYer girl. All right, we're just gonna tie this cut in into the other cut in we just finished. Again, you just feather it into the top lightly brushing and feathering the paint into the paint we had just rolled on before we started cutting it. Again, we will not be rolling the second coat quite yet. We're gonna be doing the second cut in before we roll the second coat. Keep watching, cause this video is not quite over yet. All right, so we're immediately doing the second cut in after we did the first cut in. Got Don doing the baseboards in the lower section, and I'm up high on the eight foot ladder, cutting in the ceilings. I'm gonna get some quick footage of the second cut in on this wall that I rolled out. If you watch this whole video, leave a hashtag drywall tube in the comments. That way I know who's watching these videos. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description. And if you wanna step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching.